more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight, cause someone wrote you lines, thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lines. Give me Yo, lockout man right here. I'm sending a super shout out to my man, Twisters Music Radio. Yo, bro, thanks for stepping up in the comment section and leaving a comment. I appreciate you. And if you guys want a shout out in the next video, all you got to do is like the current video. Just like it. And then in the comments, hit that hashtag shout outs and you will get shout out in the next video what's up guys lockout men in the truck on the 30 tonight what's going on hey hey man let me tell you guys something i love my son i love him love him to death love him love him love him you know what i'm saying he's graduating out of college this year or next year next year i am the proud college dad over here who 100 that's all i gotta say about my kid is 100 but i called him up tonight and he helped me out a little bit to get my little bit sound a little bit more crisp so i was happy that i had a conversation with him look if you drivers out here you guys got kids and family make sure you keep in touch with them let them know where you at let them know what you're doing you know what i'm saying somebody out there cares about you all right if 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 I don't care about you, somebody else does, all right? And preferably it should be family, all right? But sometimes I know, I know what you guys about to say. Sometimes family just don't work out, but still it is what it is with family. It sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just got to make it work. Man, what's going on? What's going on in the news today? This non-trucking related news, I mean, I, I just feel that I have to bring it to you guys regardless, but, man, I tell you, what's, what, this this young lady right here I'm about to talk about in this, in this topic right here, man, she stirred up a firestorm. I believe this is like a couple of nights ago, man, but she stirred up a firestorm. You feel me? Now, listen, this young lady... I'm about to uh I'm about to I'm about to talk about. You guys know her. Y'all y'all know her. Y'all like her music. Y'all should like her music. But you want to know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about that girl Lizzo. You know what I'm saying? L to the I to the Z Z O. Lizzo. Y'all know Lizzo. Fresh photos with the lighting. No man on the Minnesota Vikings. Now before I get into this man let me tell y'all right now, right now, there is no shame in this young lady's game. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no shame in this young lady's game. And it ain't no shame in me bringing it to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Look, I know I'm a truck driver. You know what I'm saying? I'm a truck driver. I watch and read everything. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I got two cents. I want to put my two cents in on, on what everybody's talking about. This firestorm that this young lady started. Um, did you hear Kevin? I don't know. I didn't hear Kevin. All I heard was you had the opportunity. She couldn't have said anymore. This is how that bitch goes to the Lakers game versus Minnesota. You bitches can't even spell Minnesota. Listen, this young lady right here, yo, she's she's a beast. You know what I'm saying? She doing savage stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? But you want to know something? All this wilding that she's doing, you guys know it's only for publicity, right? I mean, come on. It's, it's all this that she's doing at the game that night showing all that ass. You see what I'm saying? All that ass. That's all I had to say. All that ass. Okay. Now look. 
like I said before, she's doing it all for publicity, man, at a basketball game. Who else in their right mind will go to a basketball game that has a diverse group of people, people that's with their families, people that's with their kids, man? You know what I'm saying? You know, as soon as she got up and did what she did, that camera with the jump or that, that shows up on the jumbo churn, you know they was going to make a beeline on that ass. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That ass, man. Come on. Now, look. When she was sitting down and she was wearing the, the outfit that she was wearing, nobody didn't know. Nobody didn't know. You know, they, they just thought that she was there showing support for King James, showing support for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, you know, now, you know, she said that she's she's looking for for Vikings type of guy. Right. I, I don't know. Let's 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 see the clip. What she looking for now? No man on the Minnesota Vikings. Now, nobody wasn't thinking nothing less of her. But as soon as she got up, you know what I'm saying? As soon as she got up. That's when the full moon rises. You know what I'm saying? If she was, like I said, if she was just sitting down and have not gotten up, then everything would have just been like, oh, well, she's at a basketball game just chilling and, you know, just checking out. But as soon as she did, that's when everybody started talking. Twitter went on fire. I'm telling you. Now, I don't want to bring up none of the Twitter stuff right now. Y'all can just go to Twitter. Twitter. I don't even. I still don't know how to use Twitter. Damn it, man. That That is one social media outlet that I do like, but I don't know how to use it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I, I, I guess that's why I stick to Facebook. So if y'all want to know the memes and everything going on this young lady, definitely go to Twitter, man. They they talking about it. They talking about it. So look, let me let me let me break it down to you. Here's my two cents. All right. Here's my two cents. Like I said before, she's doing it for publicity. You know what I'm saying? She is a plus size woman. She's a BBW. She's a beautiful big woman. You know what I'm saying? She got she She's out there doing her thing. And as again, key word here, publicity. You know what I'm saying? But unlike unlike everybody that was in shock over what she done and what she wore, I wasn't. I, I wasn't. I mean, you got the likes of uh, Nicki Minaj's. You got the likes of Rihanna's. You got the likes of, of rappers just doing crazy stuff, all for publicity. So, obviously, she probably might got another album coming out or something like that. I don't know. A lot of, a lot of entertainers of her structure do this for attention and publicity all the time. I'm just saying. So, check out, like I said, I played a little bit of the clip. Hopefully, YouTube don't censor me. Or nothing like that because, like I said, it's all that ass. You know what I'm saying? So go check it out, man. Look, in other in other news, everybody still know. Uh, every if if you if you've been living up if you've been living up under a rock lately, then you you should know the big deal that's going on right now. Celadine. I pronounced it right this time, okay? C E L A Don. All right. So, being that I pronounced it, mispronounced it a few times, you know what I'm saying? Y'all still know what I'm talking about, but y'all gonna come in my comment section and say, "Yo, you mispronounced the name." Well, it doesn't matter now. The name ain't even gonna matter no more. The company is 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 going out of business. They shutting down. They chaining their doors. They're done. As a matter of fact, I just came in and I just seen a Celiadon. See, see, Celia, Celia is Celiadon. I got it. I know what it is. I know the name. But anyway, I saw the truck over here in the cut. You know what I'm saying? I'm in an area where there's a lot of Celiadon. Celiadon. See, there, there it goes again. Celiadon. 
See, there it goes again. Celadon. There you go. Right, right. Okay. I seen all their trailers over here in the cut. But let me let me let me tell you, I watched a video from my guy, uh, the Asian My Show. You guys make sure you go check him out. You know what I'm saying? The dude, the dude's on point. If you want to know anything about trucking, just like, you know, I give you all the business, he gives you the business as well. And Asian My, if you're watching this, my brother, I'm sending a invite out to you man i want to get you on the podcast man i want to i want to chop it up with you you know what i'm saying so when you see this video holler at me you got my credentials you know how to get in touch with me bro let's do it we did a collab before but i'm with a whole new outfit now bro so get at me and um let's do let's let's do another collab together man it's coming into the new year all right so this is a shout out to you i hope you guys don't hate me for this video um, I do feel bad for the truck drivers. I personally know some friends that worked for Celadon and they told me that the starting pay was about 47 cents a mile. Okay. And so honestly, they were making about a thousand bucks a week. Um, one of my buddies already found another lined up job like the next day. Now it always sucks to have to transition and move during this time of holidays and all that stuff. But I would say the majority of truck drivers are gonna be fine. They're gonna find other places. I mean, so many companies and people have reached out because they need truck drivers. But I seen I seen this video this morning and I wanna put in my two cents on this continued celiodon, celiodon, celadon thing. I agree with my man Asian mind by what he said. Don't feel sorry for the drivers. All right. Don't don't feel sorry for us. You know what I'm saying? For the silly for see, y'all gotta you you guys gotta bear with me. Bear with me, all right? Celiodon, Celadon drivers. Okay. I mean, I guess you could say you could feel a little bit some kind of way a little bit sorry for them but as far as the drivers go they can always always as long as they cdl is on point they can always bounce back transition into a new job is 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 messed up i get it i've been there but as long as you got your cdl and it's still intact and your medical well you, if you can pass the medical test boom you got a job you got a job, all right? So don't feel sorry for the cell for the for the Celadon, Celadon, Celadon drivers. They can always get another job. Now, let's what we need to do now is to get them home. You know what I'm saying? Is to get them home. There's a lot of companies out here that's reaching out to all them drivers to get them home for the holidays and and reaching out to them so they can get it you know jump on board with them now let's say you're you're stuck in this situation you 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 in boomtown whatever you call up you the, the company that's reaching out to you i guarantee you what they'll do they'll put you up in the motel they'll get you transportation to the to their company to come and go through the orientation don't feel sorry for the celadon drivers we can get we we can get another job we can get another job what you guys need to feel sorry for is the internal those the those the ones that's going to have a hard time those are the ones that's going to have a hard time transitioning into another job the internal people the 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 employees the dispatchers the the planners the people in HR, the the people, the, the the people that was running the business, they are the ones that's gonna have a problem bouncing back. They are the ones that's gonna that's gonna have a problem getting getting another job. All right, not the drivers though, not the drivers. There's companies hiring every day, every day. There's companies that have orientation once, twice, three times a week. So all the all the Celadon 
drivers have to do is just pick up the phone, say I'm a Celadon driver, and you you automatically in there. All right. The only problem that I have with this whole situation, all right, with this whole situation is, is that these drivers, these and the employees of Celadon is getting is getting booted out during the holiday season. Now, for me personally, the holidays is really just another day to me. Let me tell you what my holiday is. My holiday is rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season. Tax season, baby. It's the home of the cheese. That's when my holiday that's that's when my true holiday comes up. Cheese. You see what I'm saying? It is cheese season. Tax season. That's what's up. That is what's up. It's just unfortunate that this is the season where everybody's supposed to come together. Everybody's supposed to be feeling joyful. Everybody's supposed to be feeling merry. Everybody's supposed to be home with their families, not be out of a job that you've probably been working for for all these years, not transitioning into another job, not being stranded out here, not trying to worry about how I'm going to get home because the fuel car is cut off. This is the holiday season, and it's and and they they just dropped a whole bombshell. On the drivers and the employees It's a messed up situation. It's a messed up situation. So, guys, do me a favor. Head over to the Asian My Show. Check out his channel. He's a good dude. He got lots of information. He brings he brings stuff for new jacks. He does interviews with uh, with these drivers out here, such as myself. And like I said, it's a good channel to uh, a good if you want to let me put it to you this way. If you want a good no drama trucking channel, Asian My Show is the channel to go to. You know what I'm saying? And that's a and that's a and that's a thumbs up from your boy Lockout Man. All right. There's a I agree with him on this Celadon thing. There's a lot of opportunity for us truckers out here, for our trust, for us truck drivers out here. All right. So, again, like I said, don't look. Don't take what I'm saying out of content. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm for the driver. You know what I'm saying? I I still feel some kind of way, but what I'm just saying is, don't feel sorry for them because we can get another job as long as our CDL is intact. All right. It's just. I understand the transition. That's that's all the transition. Like I said, I've been there. I've been there. I I've been there transitioning from 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 job to job, and it's kind of messed up that you got to start all over. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So that's it. That is it. I am done uh, with today's uh, on the thirty. You guys have a good night. Let me see. I got uh. I got another podcast interview coming up Monday, so definitely check that out. If you guys want to come on the show and chop it up with me, the invite to you is out. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up in the Gmail, LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. Again, LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. You, you can also listen to the podcast on anchor.fm backslash lockout man and it's also on a whole bunch of podcast uh platforms you know what i'm saying as well as this youtube thing all right guys again i want to say thank you for watching i really do appreciate it i appreciate all my all my subscribers on here the new subscribers is coming in thank you very much to the subscribers that's here thank you very much make sure y'all share this and tell, and tell your peoples to come on, man. You know, come on with me and my. You know what I'm saying? Me and Asia my. The two no drama channels. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want, y'all want good trucking information, good content, have some fun type deal, no drama. Come to our channel, man. Invitation is out to everybody. 
I really do appreciate it. You guys have a good night. Peace. They want to be an artist and want to stay a star. And don't want to don't have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the video, all on the record, dancing, coming death row. Obama out. Nick Walker.